Hello everyone and welcome to the Game Shed with me, Mark. And look at this, it's time for Star Fox Zero. I've had this posted just yesterday and I figured I'd do a quick unboxing before I go off and play it today. So this is the first print edition and comes with uh, the steel box and it comes with Star Fox Guard, which is the extra bonus game they have created as a sort of side thing to Star Fox Zero. So I've had this Star Fox Amiibo for a very long time and it was opened and it was used in Super Smash Bros. But by the looks of things, using it in this game, it unlocks some absolutely awesome stuff. And the one thing I'm really excited about is unlocking the retro style R-Wing in the new Star Fox Zero game. So that's the original Star Fox Amiibo and it's awesome. So I'm going to use that in the game. I've also got Falco. Now, I haven't actually unboxed Falco. Um, I've had it since the day it came out. And you know what? Because I'm going to use it in this game, I think it's about time I open this sucker. So here we go. Ah, let's get it open. I know a lot of you out there are probably screaming, don't open it. But I don't care. But there you go. That is the awesome Falco. And this unlocks stuff in the game as well. It actually tells you on the back cover, so I'm going to show you that in just a minute as to what it unlocks. So that's the two. Look at those guys. So I'm just going to place those over here. And this is Star Fox Zero. I played this last year at the event at Alexandra Palace called The Legends of Gaming. Um, it was a more of a YouTuber fest where all the obvious gaming YouTubers came out to play. But they also had some stands that had games on. So this was one of the games that we got a chance to play and there was no queue at all which was awesome. So playing it there I was I was not massively impressed but you could tell that what they were putting out was not the final version of the game. Uh, it was clearly due some work and it got delayed and delayed and delayed. And so we have it in April 2016 we have the game itself. I missed out on the Nintendo version of this first print edition which came with a t-shirt unfortunately annoying for me but you know what I saw it came up on game and I grabbed it this was 49.99 I think and uh, I'm okay with that I don't mind so look at that there's the box there all right so let's have a quick look first print edition premier edition zero includes what I said before and on the back as you can see here ace squadron Star Fox is back in action yes he is Two simultaneous views. See dramatic aerial battles unfold on your TV and your Wii U gamepad. So you can see from that picture there, you are able to see this in two views. So clearly they've put a lot of processing power into putting that out in two different ways. I'm intrigued to see how it looks uh, actually playing it. A new angle on galactic warfare. And there's a few screenshots there. And it shows the R-Wing here transforming into the Walker, which was first introduced in Star Fox 2, which was never released, as we all very well know. But that Walker is looks a bit like a chicken, if I'm honest. Uh, a bit odd. Then you have the Landmaster, which is the tank. That was in Star Fox 64, which was cool. And finally you have this new gyro wing with this little robot, Direct Eye, that drags around with it. And I've read that you can uh, you can move that little robot into very small gaps and blah blah blah. Get the job done with specialised vehicles. So there you go. Now what it says here, amiibo wise, tells you about the amiibos and it says for Star Fox and Star Fox Guard, Fox and Falco are the two amiibos. So for Star Fox it says you can change the R-Wing type using either of the amiibos by the looks of things. And in Star Fox Guard, use each character's amiibo once a day to call Star Fox Squadron for help. Now, if any of you have looked up Star Fox Guard, it looks mental. It looks absolutely mental. So I'm really, I'm really interested to see that and play that. So there you go. That's the box. Let's open it up and have a look what we get inside. Right, so first thing, obviously, is the game itself. And... Uh, the back cover is exactly the same as the main back cover of the the big box. The second thing is this. Look at this. That's the steel book. And look at that, it's awesome. I'm really impressed with that. They've made that front cover look awesome. And then what they've done on the inside, I don't know whether you can see that very well, is they've put like blueprints for the R-Wing on the inside. As you can see, look at that. 
The reflection here is horrendous. But you kind of get the idea. That's the still book. Beautiful, very impressive. And the final thing you get here is Star Fox Guard. For those of you who have not actually looked into this, it's it's a bit of an oddity really. That it's it's a game where you find robots trying to attack your base um, from different camera angles, and you have to make sure you click on the right camera and shoot the robot and all that kind of stuff. And and obviously you can call in Fox if you use the amiibo. So what I've seen of this is it looks mental and it, it, it even says here, fend off intruders with a customizable security system. That's the description of it. <laughs> Pesky robots strictly prohibited. Um, it looks great, it looks crazy. It's a mini game really, essentially. Design squads to battle other players or take on the world. That is, that's literally all they tell you. It really doesn't tell you anything about the game. So I'm very intrigued to play this and I will play this for the channel, I promise. So that is what you get with the first print edition of Star Fox and it's absolutely beautiful. I'm so impressed with that still book in particular. So there we go, that is that. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.